Hey guys, uh, Mr. K. Wood here. We're going to do a lesson in your Envisions Volume 2 math book that hopefully you brought home, okay? And you are going to turn to page 717, okay? And that is lesson 12-5. So if you need to do that, pause the video, get your stuff ready, and put your iPad in front of you so you can follow along with me. Okay, uh, this lesson does a lot with centimeters, okay? What I don't want you to have to worry about is a ruler at home because you're gonna do this right with me. Mr. Fleming's holding the camera right now and he's gonna hold it right over my shoulder this entire time, okay? So, uh, Mr. Fleming, you can come on over here. Hopefully you've got 717 in front of you. Um, the kid is telling you the green cube is one centimeter long. When I have my ruler, okay, the longer units of measure that we've already been working with are the inches. The ones that are shorter and go zero through 30, those are the centimeters. So I wanna be very sure that I'm on the centimeter side when I measure. The green cube is one centimeter long and if I put right here, I can see that that green cube, one of the faces of it is in fact one centimeter long. So how can you use one centimeter cubes to find the length of the line in centimeters? Okay, measure the line and explain. Well, what we have have to do, I'll get my pencil out, is look at this and think, okay, how could I you know, use a bunch of these green cubes to go along that line and measure? Well, if each green cube is a centimeter, I need to go ahead and measure and see how many I would need. And remember, you don't wanna to go to the edge of the ruler, you wanna to go to where the zero starts, right there. So if my zero starts right there, that first green line, and I look at and I know it's centimeters and I go all the way and this green line stops right at 13. So this line, and you can write this down as I do, is 13 centimeters long. If you have a ruler at home, you can use that, but for right now, I'll show you how to use it in my book, okay? All right, next page. I've got some objects here that I can use to measure and estimate. Remember, estimating is the same as taking an educated guess or making a smart prediction, okay? Number one, they had the length of a stapler, okay? And if I know, and I go back to this last page, that line is 13 centimeters, okay? 13 tips of my pinky across, 13 of those small cubes. So if I go back to this stapler, I gotta think, all right, if that line across the page was about 13, that's a little bigger. The book estimated 15, okay? Go ahead and trace. 15. So the first box you estimate, take a guess at how long. Then you do the actual measure. And they said when they measured their stapler, it was 18. And if I measure my stapler, start at zero. Mine is probably a little different than theirs, but it is right about 18. It's actually past 18 and a half, which means it's going to be closer to 19. But as long as it's pretty similar, so you can trace 18. All right. Now, they don't give us these ones, the height of a book. So I've got this book here, and I gotta think back to my stapler, the height of a book, and they show you in the picture how tall it is. So from here all the way to the top of Captain Underpants and the invasion of the incredibly naughty cafeteria later from outer space and the subsequent assault of the equally evil lunchroom zombie nerds, I'm gonna measure that book. And I can even look at my stapler and think, well, those were pretty close to being the same thing. So I'm gonna guess that this book is maybe one or two centimeters longer than what we got for a stapler. So I'll say that book's around 19, okay? That's my estimate. I would look at that and say, that's probably like 100 because that wouldn't be a very smart estimate, all right? So now let me take my ruler. I gotta do the height. I start at zero, so I'll put that on the ground. And if it goes up, wow, Mr. K, you're a wizard because it is 19. Did you need to zoom in on that, Mr. Fleming? Sorry, 19. So. Number two, the measure, it was about 19 centimeters. You're not always gonna get it right. Sometimes you won't be as close, okay? Next, you can go and look at page 719. <clears throat> and they want you to do the width of a shoelace. Think about your shoe. They didn't say how long your shoelace was, the width of it. The width of your shoelace, and I'll show you my shoelaces right here, Mr. Fleming, okay? That's not how long it is, that's how wide, how thick it is across. Well, I'm thinking about my pinky right here. That's about as wide across as my pinky. So I am going to estimate one centimeter. That might be silly, but we'll see if I'm right. So now I'll take my ruler, okay? And I kind of got these thick ones on my gym shoes. 
and it is about one centimeter. Some of you guys that have a little bit stringier shoelaces, it's probably less than a centimeter, but that's about one centimeter of width, okay? Next, number four. You might be, hopefully you're sitting in a chair, or you might be laying on your bed doing this, but I'm sitting in a chair, and we gotta measure the width of the chair. And the textbook tells us the width is like across the bottom legs of the seat. So I'll do the, should I do width of the seat, Mr. Fleming? Yeah, I'd say width All of right. the seat. Width of the seat. First, I gotta make a, an educated guess. The width of that seat, kind of looking at my Captain Underpants book, because I know that was 19. I'm gonna say the width of that seat is probably close to 30. That's what my guess is, my estimate. Without measuring, I put 30. You might be able to put something different if you can see if you can get it closer to what I guess. Now I'm gonna put my meter stick here. I start right here with zero and I go across. No, oh, this time I wasn't very good. Zero, and this is 30. One, two, three, four, about 35. So the actual measure is 35 centimeters. <clears throat> so hopefully by now you guys are starting to understand the difference between estimating and measuring. Last thing, or not, I'm sorry, not last thing. A couple more things. Length of a pencil. So without measuring, I'm going to estimate that pencil. It's probably a little bit shorter than my Captain Underpants book. That was 19. I'm going to say that one is probably around 15. And I'll put my pencil right here. Measure it. And, oh, I was off again. That is 18. 18 centimeters. So see, sometimes you're off a few, and that's okay as long as you're not crazy off. Last thing, I got this giant pair of scissors here, okay? And I'll do, I'll set it down right here. It's not the kitty scissors, it's the big scissors, the adult scissors. So that, I'm thinking, is going to be pretty close to my pencil. Um, so I'm going to write down, maybe it's a little longer. I'll write down 20. Now I'll see. And at the very edge of the scissors, all the of the handle, so we'll say that's like right here. And from my angle, Mr. Fleming, it looks 21. Yep, that's what it looks like from here too. 21. Um, so last thing we'll do, we'll do number seven and eight on this page, and then after uh, our video is over, you guys can go on and see if you can do the uh, the next page of word problems and the homework part on your own. But number seven, Josh estimated that the length of his reading book is about six centimeters. His reading book length, let me get a reading book out, Mr. Fleming. Did we send those home? You yes, guys sir. probably, have, oh, you guys, no, somebody forgot to take theirs. Trinity, well, you don't have your reading book, because I have it, that's all right. The length of the reading book, I always think width goes across, and length is tall like this. So, six centimeters, six tips of my pinky, three, four, five. Does that make sense to me? No, not in my opinion. I think that's not reasonable. So, number seven, I'll write, uh, explain whether each estimate is reasonable. This estimate is not reasonable because six centimeters is way too short okay if you need to pause right now this is a good time to pause so that you can write down your answer for number seven okay but my reading book is much longer than six centimeters okay number eight Shay estimated she guessed that the height of her desk is about 10 centimeters well I'm in a room full of desks 10 centimeters looking at the height that would be from the floor all the way up to here Okay, 10 centimeters. Well, I know my Captain Underpants book, this book in itself is 19 centimeters. So that means that this desk would have to be shorter than this book is. So that's not a very good estimate either. So the question they ask is, is it reasonable? So again, this, sorry my bad handwriting, estimate is not reasonable because the desk would be much taller than 
10 centimeters. So <clears throat> that's all I'm gonna show you guys for the lesson in the math book. And hopefully all you guys have it, but you guys can go ahead and go on and <clears throat> have your parents help you with some of these estimates. They give you some rulers um, and things like that. If you can't measure because you don't have a ruler, remember you can use your, your um, pinky finger, okay? Just take your best estimate, guys. It's just really about know, having a good idea of how long a centimeter is. Okay, so then go on and you can stop after page 722. So that's our math lesson for the day. Thanks, guys. See ya.